as the Pelicans. First time inside Paycom Center this year. Pokashevsky and Valanchunas. They go toe to toe at center court. And we are underway. Okay, and anytime you got CJ McCollum, you know, getting the ball out of his hands because he, he, he's going to be looking to do a lot of the scoring load. SGA slices and dices his way to the basket. Much he struggled last year shooting from three. A little better this year, 31%. Now he's starting to break. Three on one. On man rush, and there is a layup, and it's good. Column got around Dort momentarily, puts up the mid range, and he is not afraid to take a two outside the key. CJ McCollum now in year 10. He's done it his entire career. Spent most of his career in Portland before coming over to New Orleans midway through the season last year. Very pleased with the lessons that were carried over from the first matchup to the second matchup, so both teams were better. But a different opponent here tonight in New Orleans as Marshall making his name heard here in this first quarter. Dort fires it outside. Now Shea going to work on Murphy. Oh, he slips underneath. Just a slight hesitation to throw off the timing of Murphy's defense. Now up ahead, Hernan Gomez. He wanted to pass it back to Devontae Graham, but it was Shea. And there is Kenrich Williams on the home run pass. Four on the shot clock. Cross-court pass, Alvarado. And he's got himself another three. Well, how about Jose Alvarado? Hadn't really touched the basketball yet. There is the cut, and Hayes on the back side, right across the baseline. And, and get your momentum going again. And then quiet offensively early second, and Hayes has his second dunk. Well, what's the key to that? Your shoulder width with your feet? Not being wider up top than your shoulders? Much as Shea bisects the lane, and then elevates for the jam. And that deficit down to just 11 here. Stringing together stops. Just kind of brought it to Pelican's offense until at three. Shea's done such a good job of getting to the free throw line, but he just missed two. Best free throw shooter in the NBA on the season. Missed two the other night, missed two there, and it leads to the dunk on the other end, and that is a four-point swing. Trying to float it up off the backboard. It pops out to Muscala. Shea will drive and score despite all the Pelicans defenders surrounding him. All right, thank you, Paris. Well, the good news for OKC. A lot of time left to go in this one. Trailing by double digits. And how about Herb Jones? Just chugging down the lane. Saw a couple from Jackson Hayes in the first half. Oh, what a pass. What a dish. Beautifully conceived. Beautifully executed. Giddy set it up for SGA. Shea's got a mismatch with Valanchunas. He'll step into the three. Shea. The rainbow three, not a problem as he splashes it home. Trying to dislodge it from Jones. Mark Dagnall thought it was a travel as it swings down to Murphy, his three, and all of a sudden Trey Murphy has got himself three three. I'm not saying I give a gift to get a gift, but it is the gift, it is the season of giving. That's all I'm saying. Indeed. Pokashevsky open, his three, right over the outstretched arm of Alan Churdis. Really, a lot of the European and international players had. Waters came off the screen. Pokashevsky, no hesitation whatsoever on the catch, fire three. That, that's going to force their big, Hernan Gomez or Valanciunas, to come away from that basket. Oh, Shea, that's a teardrop. Got it up over Hernan Gomez, the touch. Giddy did a good job of keeping Hernan Gomez off the glass. Shea to the trail. Giddy three, he'll step into it and bury it. Shea trying to go to work. Oh, what a pass. This time it's Pokashevsky. What a pretty dish inside. And then the finish. Five-point game prior to that shot. Hawkins are on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. Played last night against the Spurs. Giddy went for the finger roll, followed the miss, and a little redirect. Going to have to send everybody to the glass to help out. Big front line, small back door. Oh, Shea negotiating inside. Takes the bump, plus the foul. They're going to continue to throw. Pelicans offense. How about this wide open look? Like For the tie, Trey Mann from the outside strikes. Completely different than the first couple of minutes of the third quarter. 
The Thunder in true fashion tie it right back up as it's J Dub off the cut on the backside. Didn't panic in the first half, and those shots weren't falling. Sure that made a difference on the scoreboard now. And Jones for the moment. Long way to go in this game. They've done a lot of work to get back in it. They're going to have a lot of work to try to finish it off. Hayes with authority. Good offense by the Pelicans. They've been struggling to score baskets in the second half. It's been really good impression. Scored 40 last night. Forced him into another tough shot. But it's Hayes again, this time off the miss. Now he's defending Giddy. Giddy checks the tape and drills a three. He's a pro and he's a professional scorer. Just let him do his thing. The worst thing you can do in college is pick up your dribble news. Jones. They are so much better this year than they were last year. And understanding the different ways that they've got to execute. Now they got to execute on this possession. Shea wants to step back three. Got the step back three over Murphy. Hey, got the double team. Recognized it. And Poku tries to send it over to the rookie. Dort, oh, a little up and under in the finish. Pretty move. Collins just has not had much space to operate all night long. Not much space to shoot the basketball either. This time he'll give it up, and Hayes with another jam. He's got 16. Pushing the lead back up to six. Giddy is off with his five fouls. Kedrich Williams returns. McCullum looking for a shot and buries it. Big shot by C.J. McCullum. 32 seconds to go. McCullum's got the ball in his hands. He wants to drive up Pokashevsky. Dumps it off. Jones contested. Still able to make it. After review, the play has been deemed to have been having a clock malfunction. The play, the whole play took more than 25.4 seconds which were from the start of the play. Therefore, the game, or the period is over, and we will go to overtime. A good job of stealing that tip. He read that Jackson Hayes was trying to go to one of his teammates. No challenge for Pokashevsky. Oh, great ball movement. Now, Kev McCollum from getting hot. It's four out of 17. It's Murphy's three, the high archer, and how about Trey Murphy? He's got five threes on the night. Kicked it out to him. McCullum off the handoff, and he's got himself a three. We go back on top. Now push out the lead to four. Shea, head down. Oh, he's going to get the roll and go right back to the free throw line. McCullum nearly lost it. Murphy. Looking for a little opening. J Dub stayed down, and Murphy was sort of a desperation shot off the glass. Past the midway point of overtime. Giddy called for it, swings it down to the rookie J Dub. He goes right by Marshall on the baseline and slams it down. And to continue to pile up those points in the paint. 62 now. Hayes got it back. How about the help defense from J Dub? Not enough. Have to slow down this offense of the Pelicans here at this point in the game. Pelicans have been using CJ McCollum as a creator. This time it's Marshall off the deck, goes right to the cup. Jones missed the reverse. Thunder have to get a bucket here. SGA high working and got the bucket right over Hayes. And he's got 44 on the night. Shevsky trying to get it over to a shooter. Isaiah Joe, but precious time is running off the clock. Joe. Back up top to Giddy. Giddy puts his head down, charges right to the rim, scores. Three point game with 11.7. McCullum double teamed, expecting to get fouled, and he just threw it out of bounds. Hayes misses the second, ball tapped out. Shea's got time, lets it fly. Oh, it's off the front of the rim. That would have tied it. It was online.